All right, let's talk about education. America ranks 19th in high school graduations, but we're first in incarcerations. Everybody says they want more accountability in schools. Mm -hmm. About 80% of America says they support merit pay for the best teachers. Now, I don't want to hear your stump speech on education. Okay. Yes, yes, and find bad <laughs> and, and find bad teachers another line of work. <laughs> uh, you know, You know, right. we're going to end this. You're answering so quickly. Right. Can I? You want to play a game of poker? Can I just I mean, say that? <laughs> choice and competition, choice and competition, homeschooling, charter schools, vouchers, all the choice and competition. I want. Look, I want every American family to have the same choice that Cindy and I made, and Senator Obama and Mrs. Obama made as well. And that was, we wanted to send our children to the school of our choice. And uh, charter schools work, my friends. Homeschooling works. Vouchers in our nation's capital works. We've got thousands of people in Washington, D.C. that are applying for a voucher system. New York City is reforming. I go back to New Orleans. They were, as we know, the tragedy devastated them. They now have over 30 charter schools in the city of New Orleans, and guess what? It's all coming up. It's all coming up. It's a simple principle, but it's going to take dedicated men and women, particularly in the teaching profession, to make it happen. And by the way, here, in, uh, I won't go any further, but the point is, it's all been and it's being proven that choice and petition every American family. And it is the civil rights issue of the 21st century because every citizen's child now has an opportunity to go to school. But what kind of opportunity is if you send them to a failing school? That's why we've got to give everybody the same opportunity and choice.